Let me show you guys how I make the best pie crust ever. I have so many different pies on Divas Can Cook and this is the recipe that I always use because it is so doggone good. It will elevate any pie that you make, for real. And of course, it's easy to make, so let's go. Okay, I have some flour in a bowl. I'm gonna add in a little bit of salt and I'm gonna add in a little bit of sugar. Don't worry, this is not a sweet crust. You can use this pie crust for savory pies, sweet pies. The sugar is just gonna balance everything out. Whisk it around. Next, I have some frozen butter and some frozen butter flavored shortening. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and just grate this into our flour mixture. And you see how it kind of clumps together like this? I like to get my fork and just kind of mix it up every now and then so it's not all clumping together, you know? And having that butter nice and frozen really really makes it so easy to grate into the flour okay so now my favorite part I like this part right here and that is grating the shortening because look it just comes in this long big string it's kind of fun okay get your pastry cutter and just kind of cut in that butter and all that shortening this is a workout but you know you can use a food processor but I like to get any type of exercise I can get because you know I need it okay so here's how it looks see how it's all mixed in and all crumbly a little fine crumbs that's what you want so that is our cue to add in our icy cold water. Very simple ingredients for this pie crust and it tastes like a biscuit. I say that with every video that I make with this pie crust. It does, it tastes like a biscuit, but it's flaky like a pie crust. It's like the best of both worlds. Flour your work surface and dump this onto your little work surface. It's gonna be all crumbly and dry, but we're just gonna knead it a little bit and that will get it nice and soft and get all that flour worked in. You can put on some gloves if you want to. I hate, hate, hate wearing gloves, but I had these nails on which I usually don't wear. I keep my nails very short, okay? But I had some gloves on that helps it from getting under your nails. And there's our pie crust. Look, it's all soft and stuff now, love it. Go ahead and divide it into two equal parts, just like this, wonderful. Then we're gonna flatten it out into like a little disc and we're gonna cover it with some plastic wrap. Do that for both of them. We're gonna plop these bad boys into the fridge for about 30 minutes. And I went ahead and let them chill overnight. So go ahead and remove them from the fridge. And now we're just going to place it onto my little pie chart here, sprinkle it with some flour, almost forgot that step. And then just go ahead and just roll it on out, just like that. Normally I just press out my pie crust by hand. I prefer to do it by hand. But for this video, you know, I thought I'd just show you how to just roll it on out, nothing fancy. You're gonna have some extra dough left over. You can cut it out or I just kind of like tuck it along the edges because I kind of like for my, my little rim of my pie to be a little bit thicker so I just kind of tuck it in but you can cut it off if you want to but yeah just go ahead and press it in there get whatever shape you want okay I keep it simple just like that and we are done place it in the fridge until you're ready to use it and now it is ready for all of your luscious pecan pies your pumpkin and sweet potato pies any pie you can think of this crust does the job I hope you guys enjoyed this video later